Today is rescue day, and we are going back to this gentleman's home who I was at not too long ago, actually the same place where we rescued the peacocks and the goats and the geese and the ducks. When I was there, I noticed a rabbit and some other animals, and I was in conversation with him about it. And he recently reached out to us about taking the rest of his animals. He has a lot more animals. He, had a, he has three dogs and um, I, I felt like they could use some help. And I was really happy that he reached out because I didn't want to be rude, of course, but I had a feeling that um, the last animal, the last time we were there, those weren't the only animals we were going to take because I saw the pig and I saw the dogs and I just could sense they could use some extra help. Okay, guys, I just arrived. I do have to make this relatively quick. So if you sense that I'm rushing, it's because I hit traffic on the way here and I have to be back at the sanctuary because we are getting two dogs from LA. So I gotta be back as soon as possible so that I'm not late for our intake later. So just wanted to give you a quick explanation. Um, if you sense that I'm being rude or rushing or anything like that, I'm just kind of trying to get out of here because I'm running late. All right, let's go. Thanks. This is Pete. Oh, and they are it. not happy about it at all. No. Okay. So you might want to put them, go ahead and put them where they're going to be so they can stress. They are not knowing what's going on. I heard you needed the cage. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, just for transport. He is the sweetest rabbit I have yeah. ever seen. I used to raise rabbits. I had 400 of them at once. Come on, Paul. He is the sweetest little bunny. Come on. He doesn't even do the kicking of the back feet. He's a good bunny. Okay, cool. Right lap, you want to put the rabbit in here? Yeah. Okay. He doesn't even do the kicking of the back feet. He's a good bunny. No. I've got two dogs, one with a harness, one with a collar, and the other one does not have a collar, so we'll have a, have a lead. Okay, great. So, this is Flame. Flame? Yes. Flame. She's 12 years old. Wow, she's Very beautiful. Very good girl. Very good girl. She's beautiful. I'm going to go put her in your car. I'll be right back. All right. Hey, Flame. Put her in the truck. Huh? No, no, it's okay. You, you want her in here or in my truck? Yeah. Twelve year old. Wow. She really is just walking with me. I mean, my dogs would never. You, you, you take one of my dogs, put my one of my dogs on a leash, and start walking with them out of my sanctuary. I promise you, they're not walking with you. This the girl just comes with me. Uh, hi. It's beautiful. Let's go get the rest. Is this a Great Dane? Yes, it is. Oh my God, he's beautiful. He's a Great Dane Rottweiler. Wow, he's gorgeous. And he eats yeah. a lot. I bet. Yeah, we have we have Great Danes. He's beautiful. And what kind of dog is this one? This one, uh, well, we say we say standard poodle, but I've never done a DNA. Yeah, she looks like a poodle. He, Definitely. he, he. And he's been, he's been groomed his entire life. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. He's neutered. He's all up to date on shots. Okay, perfect. Due, but... Okay, perfect. We'll get them all checked out. Thanks, man. Not needed. Boy. Good job. You're right. Good job. And now the pig. Come on. Good girl. If you go behind her, she'll go. Right. You got it. There you go. That was a brilliant idea. Whoever came up with that. They have these, you see them. I've got a ramp right here too for you. Hey. We have. All you do are. That's how you're moving around like a teacher. Yeah, you can see that. I've never done this before. I'm gonna give her a second. Come on, mamas. It's okay. All right, guys. We got them. Hello. Now we're gonna, what an interesting haircut. You doing okay? A little skinny. This one can't see. You got the, the fur in front of your face. Gosh, you need a bath, man. These dogs smell. I'm in trouble, guys. I'm already, I'm already really liking this one. This one's already like, you know what I mean? We've already, we've got it. We've got it. He knows me, he gets it. He knows what he's doing, he's seen my videos. Look at this. 
freedom ride here. All right, guys, we just made it back. Very quiet car ride. Look at your new home, guys. At least for a while. At least we find you forever homes. But I do love this one. I do love you very much. I'm very, very happy and I'm very proud of this man for reaching out for and asking for help. And I'm glad that we're able to do it because of you, because of your support. guys well thanks so much for watching thank you for joining us on today's rescue mission i love you all very much be kind and adopt don't shop good yeah, buddy see ya today is a very big day we are introducing all of the new dogs I know it's not the nicest day. It's very wet and a little crummy. Doesn't give the most appealing, you know, but it, we'll take what we can get. It's Oregon. There's a Doberman, a lot of Great Danes, three Great Danes, a lot of Huskies, German Shepherds. Hey, Gwen. This, this German Shepherd has some neurological issues. Hi, oh, sweetie. And the reason I'm introducing them all at the same time, it's like ripping it off like a band-aid. This isn't the strategy I would recommend for everyone, but when you have this many dogs, they can get too hyper-focused. Too hyper-focused on one dog. Come on guys, hey. I don't want them to be hyper-focused on just one dog. I want all the, all the new dogs will basically be uh, distracting them. So they're not all hyper-focused on one. We want them going from dog to dog so that they're not, they're not overly uh, paying, ooh, paying too much attention to one. Roger. I kept this one on a leash because he could be a little aggressive. So I kept him on a leash just in case. I'm sorry for moving around a lot. We're gonna have about a hundred, over a hundred dogs in here in a moment. So I'm trying to pay attention to everything while explaining you, uh, explaining to you what's going on while filming. So just stay with me. So see, they're meeting this Great Dane here. There's Callie meeting him. There's Rosa and George and Ray meeting and Maggie meeting this Doberman. All the new dogs have leashes. No, they don't all have leashes on, I guess. He doesn't have a leash. Look the boy. There's Moo. Petunia. She's going to be a lot. She doesn't do well with new dogs. There's Bane. Sarah, make sure to slowly walk. Don't, don't stand so Just slowly walk around. Very nonchalant. And anything that happens, don't react, right? Just just allow everything to be communication. So Ben, you're doing good. Steve, good job. Everyone's just slowly walking around, right? The, the Slowly walking around. The point is, is that they will mirror us. So all the time, most of the times why a fight, a dog fight turns into a dog fight, it was never going to be a fight. It was aggressive playing maybe or uh, boundary setting. But when you run to the situation and go crazy, that's what amps up the dogs. So if you will walk around slowly, right? If you will just slowly, just as if everything is fine, everything is normal, the dogs will mirror you. And eventually they're going to be moving with you slowly, everything being fine. There's Doug. So many dogs are meeting for the first time. I know it's hard to see. Let's try to get that leash off him. 
Uh, Sarah will do it. Hey. Actually. Oh, this is nice that he's coming to me. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. It's okay. Very sensitive, Great Danes. Very sensitive. They just want to smell you, buddy. They just want to smell you, okay? Don't worry. They just want to smell you. They just want to smell you. You see, you can also fix their body language. The ears are back. Put them forward, you know? Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's go. You're okay. Shh. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're stressing out. It's okay. It's going to be over soon. Shh. I'm here. I'm here. Look, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Rolly. Hey, come on, guys. I'm right here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Rolly. Come on, guys. Good job, Ben. Good job, Steve. <laughs> This one likes you, huh? I know, she came right up to me. Have you met her before? Just when they first got here. Yeah. 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 That's sweet. That's sweet. All right. <laughs> Don't be. Are, are all the dogs out? Is there anyone that hasn't been out? All, most of the dogs that you see here, most of these dogs um, were literally on death row, like days away, if not day of uh, getting euthanized. So this is really, it's going, it's honestly going so well that it's scary. You know, that quietness that's intimidating. That's what this feels like a little bit. Come on guys, let's go!